Hey y'all, it's Charla and on this week's episode of Corn Fed, we're gonna freshen up that closet and I'm gonna take you on a spring shopping spree with me. We're gonna make two stops at Lazy J Ranchware and Lizzie Lee's Boutique. Let's go. Lazy J Ranchware. It's Parker County's newest Western store with funky fashions for all ages. They carry brands like Seven for Mankind, 3J Workshop, Double D, Bed Stew, Judith March, Big Star, Rock Revival, and Lolia, along with classics like Wrangler, Cinch, and Ariat. Just check out the great selection of boots for kids and adults from Anderson Bean, Old Gringo, and many more. Lazy J Ranchware also specializes in open crown hats. They even custom shape them right there in the store. The brands and styles are consistently changing, so stop by Lazy J Ranchware today and say hello to my soul sister, the gorgeous Cresha. Lazy J Ranchware, 104 South Ranch House Road in Willow Park. Lizzie Lee's is the newest boutique in Roanoke. She has the hottest styles that I look for when I'm shopping in her boutique. Lizzie Lee's has all the summer festival fashions and accessories, and she picks from the best designers, including jeans from Dear John, Gypsy Soul Flip Flops, and Peekaboo Lace for your boots. When I'm shopping for a new pair of boots, I go to Lizzie Lee's for a pair of bodacious boots, the best style of boots in town. Check out her unique handmade jewelry by Eclectables that Lizzie Lee makes herself. She also has handbags and accessories. Lizzie Lou's Boutique in Roanoke, across from Heart 8 Barbecue at 204 South Oak Street. You can also follow her on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter for the latest arrivals and her make it and take it craft parties every Tuesday at noon. Lizzie Lee's Boutique, vintage chic, funky unique. Well, thanks for shopping with me, guys. I hope that you will visit Lazy J Ranchware or Lizzie Lee's Boutique really soon. Coming up next week on Corn Fed, everyone's been asking me how I color my hair and get the like perfect blonde. Trust me, I've done plenty of trials and errors, and I figured it out. So I'm going to show you the perfect blonde on next week's episode. Love y'all.